Well, uh, Byron, thanks so much for taking time out of your day, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thank you. Uh, you're fighting at Cage Sport 58, August 10th. Who are you fighting? John Simone. Is this going to be a retirement fight? This is. Come on, man. What made you decide to hang up the gloves? Well, I got a 17-year-old daughter getting ready to be a senior, man. And, and I have an 11-year-old daughter that I want to be able to help in school. So, you know, that's kind of my drive right now. You know, yeah. I like the fight. I love it. I love MMA. But, you know, I'm also 45 years old, too. You know, it's, it's time to hang them up and just, just be able to coach and help help others get better, man. You know, yeah. that's kind of my thing. Yeah. And, I mean, you started fighting in 2012. So you started fighting at age 35. You've been around the game for a while. I mean, there's a lot of MMA promotions in the area. And it looks like this is your first time fighting for K-Sport. Is that correct? It is, yeah. Okay. That was a hard part to get on. I was going to ask, was this uh, was that a goal of yours to get on Cage Sport before you retired? Yes, yes. It was. Yeah, I mean that's that's a great card for you to be on. That's how cool is that, man? Yeah, it it's, actually feels good, man. I mean, I, Brian Holloquist and all those guys are really good people, man. And you know, I just wanted to you know get on that card, man, and show what I have, you know, you know, go out there and perform. Absolutely. I mean, when you're done here, what are you, are you transitioning into more just the jujitsu tournaments or just coaching and training yeah. type stuff? Yeah, I'm going to transition to jujitsu. I made my pro um, jujitsu debut on Fight to Win. And, you know, I went against a really good guy, um, and it was really fun. So, you know, I want to continue doing that um, and also teaching, too, because I'm a blue belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. So, you know, I want to – I train with Gracie Baja jiu-jitsu, and I love it there. You know, good team. You know, I've learned so much from, from Professor Calvo, you know, and the guys there. So I want to continue my journey, man. You know, you know, that black belt will be there one day, but it's not even – about the belt for me it's more about just the journey and enjoying what i do and learning you know with the people i train with right that's where i'm at with that okay cool man i mean you kind of alluded to this earlier but your daughters are they your biggest motivator right now in life but but well, yeah pretty much yeah my mo my biggest motivation is just to 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 um move forward with my life and do something different you know i want to go to school for certain things and i'm not going to do that in fight that's just not going to happen so you know i have to i have to understand that if i'm going to do anything i have to do it now you know trying to build build a, a a new relationship with someone that i've been with for a year and a half you know going on a, you know two years basically here in april next year and i just don't want to have that always be an interruption me trying to fight me always training you know you gotta yeah. sometimes take that act out and spend be able to spend time with my kids at the same time you know yeah, so yeah. it's something that i've just really been thinking about you know with my life so you know we have to see what happens man I just want to just keep moving forward with it, man, and allow allow myself to adventure a little bit and help other guys get better. Like, I train with Team Synergy, man, and we have a bunch of young and up-and-comer fighters. I want to be able to watch those guys come up, man. I mean, we got, you know, Javonis Rodriguez. We got John Holland, Christian. We got some good fighters in that gym, you know, and um, that's just a few of them. Right. So I want to be able to help them. That's kind of journey out a little bit, man, and, t and show my knowledge a little bit. So, you know, I cool. think that's going to be kind of an exception for me. Well, I'm excited. It's been an honor to talk with you and get to know you over the last couple of years for sure, man. And uh, excited to see you in the new adventures of, of life and, and jujitsu and with your daughters and, and, man, just new relationships. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. You know, it's, it's been a wonderful journey, man. But, you know, we all got to come to an end one day. Yep. And as long as I can continue doing jujitsu and judo, man, I'm good with it that you know <laughs> cool, dude. absolutely well i also want to give you an opportunity to byron to give shout outs to coaches teammates sponsors whoever you want all right here we go i would like to send a shout out to statements property arsenal promotion team synergy in tacoma thank you guys so much also i like to send a shout out to gracie baja man i mean primal combat midway um recycling gary lust thank you so much i appreciate your sponsorship elite massage thank you so much and you know and just to my fans man for all the people that supported me you know uh in in this fight game it's, it's been really awesome to have the fan base i have and the people that i have in my life so thank everyone and I hope to see everybody at K-Sport, me performing and having fun, and my teammate Cameron Rivera doing the same thing. So thank you so much, man, and thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Come on. That's awesome, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to do K-Sport 58. Catch it August 10th. Byron Boom Fernandez Jr. going to get that win and head to the cage. Thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Thank you so much for watching the show. Please subscribe to our channel. Would really appreciate that. If you could please give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And please check back. We're always bringing on awesome people for the top rated MMA show and entrepreneurs, world changers, and success-minded people for the Bearded Biz Show. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.